Hey there. It's Felicia. I'm coming to you from my home office schoolroom, and I'm actually on the floor because I'm excited to share with my friends uh, this wonderful spelling curriculum. Um, it's by... Um, it's actually by Institute for Excellence in Writing. And see, we are a classical conversations family. We are a challenge family right now because my daughter has grown up out of the foundations program and out of the essentials program, which is where we were introduced to Institute for Excellence in Writing and the classical conversations um, essentials program. The, right, the Institute for Excellence in Writing is a great curriculum. So, of course, when we got to where I really wanted her to have a spelling program, I looked to what was familiar, what I had already had confidence in, and that was Institutes in Excellence for Writing. Institute in Excellence in Writing. Let me make sure I'm saying that right. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm hopefully saying that right. Here's what I discovered there. Here's what I absolutely loved, uh, thought was really cool. This is the Phonetic Zoo program. The Phonetic Zoo, it's called the Phonetic Zoo Teachers. Oh, well, this is the teacher's note. This is not the actual full program. These are the teacher's notes. These are the spelling list or lessons. They are numbered. And then there are there is one more part. And let me I um let me get and it's called Phonetic Zoo. Guess what? These are the animals. The animals refer to uh, the lessons that are successfully completed. Um, and behind me is the actual zoo that I made for my daughter so that whenever she Whenever she completes a lesson of spelling words, this is one lesson. This is the personal spelling words, which come every fifth lesson is a personal list of words. Those words can come from the your student's English lessons or your student's writing lessons if they're using IEW or if they're using, yeah, if they're using IEW, Institute for Excellence in Writing, if they're using that, then there are some, there are lots, there's lots of vocabulary that goes with those writing lessons, those writing prompts. Um, so I personally use those. I use those as our personal lists. And um, the last thing that comes with this curriculum, which is actually the first thing, it's a digital download of all the recorded lessons. This is an independent spelling program. On the recordings, the digital download, the presenter, the teacher, uh, in many instances, it might be Edward, Edward, Edward Poudois, Edward Poudois. I think I'm saying his first name correctly. And it might be someone else. It's a male. We have a male teacher for most of them. Two male voices. And I think one is Edward Pudwa. I'm thinking I'm saying his first name wrong. But anyway, I love the guy, even though I can't say his name. Anyway, um, the audio, the format is they say the word. They say a sentence using the word so you can see how the word is used. And then they say the word again. Boom. Um, it goes through that for all 16 words. It also will recite every so often in the lesson. It will recite the jingle for that particular group of uh, words. These are pers This is the lesson we're on now. These are personal words. So there is no jingle, which, are, which the jingle includes the rules of engagement for those particular words. Here is... EW, this is lesson 31, just to give you an example. The jingle, which is the rule or the hint, it's a real short one this time. Coming at the end of a few words. Oh my gosh. Ooh says ooh. EW, what is it? Yeah, EW says ooh as in OO. -O. Sounds like OO. -O. So those are the hints and things that come with this program. So there you have it. It's four pieces. The digital download of the lessons, that's what makes it independent. You put your child into, I, I, she's got headphones, so that she's able to focus and reciting the uh, lesson plan, uh, the uh, spelling words, uh, uh, writing them as she hears them. Uh, the digital, so that's the digital download. The um, overall, these are the lesson lists etc. And then for personal words, here's an example of the personal words that we are doing this time. You pick those words based on what your child experiences throughout their uh, 
school week or the four weeks that you or you know the four lessons that come before this one if there any if there's anything else that the child is doing and she's got trouble with uh, the spelling of a word keep a mental note or just write it down write down every word that you hear that your student has challenges with whether it's something she sees at the store or out and about or something she sees in her other lessons just keep a mental note because every fifth lesson you're going to have a personal list and by the time you get to that lesson she may have forgotten or he may have forgotten the fact that they could not remember how to spell that word so it'll be really rich and it'll be really fresh for that student for your student by the time you get to that particular lesson where they're doing their personal words so you've got digital download this the, the teacher's manual which explains with each lesson some of the hints that you can use uh, when you do administer her or his spelling list and then it's got instructions for how to create your um your phonetic zoo if you'll notice across my zoo i've got zoo cards those zoo cards are the animals for the lessons that we've already done now she's done many more lessons that are on the zoo because i have not actually placed the other zoo cards in position and let me give you a close-up of this uh We've got a list of homonyms that I have not done anything with. M months of the year, days of the week, suffixes, prefixes, postal state abbreviations. Um, listen for all sounds. How many syllables? Write the root words. And then, and then this came straight out of the phonetic zoo. It's rules of engagement. So you, you, can, you can flavor it up however you like. But the most important part is the visual accomplishments that you're going to put on this board when your student gets has success completing the lesson all right now here's the cool thing here's what i love about this when you start this curriculum you're going to test your student online it's a test that's available it's not online but you can test your student right there on their portal and identify whether they're going to be doing a b or c Whichever level, A, B, or C, you, your student uh, test, whichever le level your student uh, is in, C, A, B, or C columns, you actually get the digital download for that level. My baby tested at level A. Because she tested at level A, I received the digital download with the system. It was $99, I believe. I received the digital download with that uh, level of recording but guess what I made a wonderful discovery because I like for her to stay independent when I first test her on her personal letter personal words I record it using the very phone that I'm on now I record the words that I'm spelling to her and then I also at the end of that I do it exactly the way phonetic zoo does it I say the word nice and slow not super slow but slow enough that it's clear I say a sentence with the word and then I say the word again after doing all 16 words then I go back I say the first word I start with the, the phrase first word and then I spell the first word for example first word uh, the first word for her for this lesson 30 personal words is treacherous so I'll go back and I'll start my corrections with treacherous I'll say first word treacherous T R E A C H E R O U S treacherous next word merciless M E R C I L E S S and I will do one after another after another because that is the that's the last part of the recorded lesson the teacher will go through every word and will say each word spell not say it over will spell each word one time and then say it at the end uh, here's the cool thing not only is it independent taking the lessons it's an independent correcting and identifying what you have right or wrong you see the student actually as she's hearing the word spoken 
when she's taking the spelling lesson, she's using a pen. My student, you use a pen only, no pencils. You use a pen, you've got 16 lines, 16 words. She spells out each word as to the best of her ability that she hears the teacher states. At the end, the teacher then goes, and now let's look at corrections. The teacher will say, first word, and will spell that out. She is to rewrite that word next to her first attempt. She's writing the correct spelling based on hearing the word spelled by the teacher. She's writing the correction. And then she actually looks at the two and checks it or X's it out, the left side. This is why pen is important. Do not let your students use pencil when they're doing this because it's a clear, you can clearly see and check behind your child after she's done each word, her attempt, whether it was correct or not, and how and what she knows and her confirmation of having heard the correct spelling. They're right next to one another. I love it. I absolutely love this curriculum. And here's the wonderful discovery. Because my daughter tested at A, and this I hope this is okay to say, but because I'm gonna say it, because I'm doing it this way. We've only used A. Yes, she's going into the eighth grade, but I like, let, I like spelling until you graduate from high school. Why not? Here's the deal. Because I know how to personalize and how to uh, I know how to implement the recording of each of the lessons personal, the personal lessons. I could actually do the same thing to level B or level C. If I want her to continue this curriculum going through the different levels, because she will eventually be out of level A. We're on lesson 31. The lessons continue until she gets 100% two times in a row. And that is two times in a row. That's what's recommended by the curriculum. Not two times, period. If she gets 100 one time and she gets a 90 or she gets one wrong the second time and then 100% the next, nope. You got to get 100% consecutive, two times in a row. And if you, um, there is a great reason why this is required. If you choose this curriculum or you're looking at it, Bella time! If you choose this curriculum, or if you're considering it, check out Andrew, Andrew, I knew it wasn't Edward, Andrew Poudois' reasoning why uh, spelling is taught this way. His reasoning makes so much sense to me. It is absolutely right, because this romance language called English is not an easy language to learn spelling, because many, many words do not follow the rules. So... If you're checking this program out, I, I, I would uh, recommend it. I totally recommend it. It is, it is a great program, and uh, I will be using it until she graduates from high school. It is that good, and I like it that much. I do hope that this helps you. I hope that you are blessed by this, by the, by this information. And um, while we're doing the specific lesson we're on, this is just a little uh, picture um, magnet. My file cabinet, which is behind this board, is magnetic. The magnet goes right on the file cabinet drawer. She can see it. Uh, in this case, it's not a big deal because there aren't any rules when you're doing personal words. They come from wherever you pull them from. So, but it does allow her to see that we're on this lesson. Get your stuff out. Get your paper out. I actually, um, I lost the file that had the list of, uh, you know, 16 lines. One, two, three, four. 15. 15. I'm sorry. I just got corrected. It's 15 words per lesson, not 16. So the the count, the, the numbering of each line, 1 through 15, and then the other side for corrections. I lost that digital download, so I ended up making my own. It was very simple. I made copies for her. She's got them in a file. She can actually pull them out when it's time to do spelling. There she is right there. How do you like uh, Phonetic Zoo Baby? How do you like its dependent, independent learning style and stuff? It's Tell me. It's fun. Come on over. Okay. Okay, come on, talk it's to me. It's good because it is independent. And I like how I can just listen to it through my headphones when I read it. And I like hearing the funniness of... Talk louder. I like hearing the funniness of when she says the words because... Um, I have a good time recording. <laughs> yeah. Say that. <laughs> and she's done it so many... We've been doing this program for at least a couple of years yeah. now two or more so she's used to the format and sometimes I make a mistake what what's the one word that oh, I... so on one of them she said she said 
indolent. And then she said, um, she described it, and then she said, indolent. <laughs> and I'm like, how are you going to say indolent and then say indolent after? Amen. They're like the same word. You know how to spell it, right? Yeah. And you know what it means, right? Nope. <laughs> uh, you do know what it means when I use it in the sentence. What do you say? I can't remember because I've recorded it and you've been I doing it on your remember. own. All right. Well, at any rate, that's shalom, it. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Until we meet next time, uh, don't forget, look for your Selah moments. Shalom, Pause, shalom, ponder, and peace. praise the Lord because you know he's, he's been, been good, good to you. you. Until, Until we meet, we meet on again. this venue. Shalom, shalom. shalom. <laughs>